we are moving uh, to phase two of the Open for Business plan uh, this upcoming June the 10th. Pulling back the curtains and getting back into the world. It's coming quicker for some Canadians than others. Alberta is set to enter its second reopening phase Thursday, which allows dining inside a restaurant with six people. Meanwhile, Manitobans cannot take a walk outside with their parents unless they live with them. One more case when your ICUs are full is, is a problem, right? So, I mean, you have to control the flow as much as you can when you're in a situation where you can't handle more cases. Other provinces can. Montreal entered the second phase of their reopening Monday. Ontario is set to start phase one Friday, while British Columbia is eyeing next week for its phase two. But start dates far from the only differences between the reopening plans. For example, the step one plan for both Ontario and BC includes meeting 10 people outdoors. But British Columbia's allows for five people indoors, while Ontario's does not. Meanwhile, one of the first things Quebec did was loosen restrictions in large event spaces. Provinces are going to make recommendations based on the number of cases and what they can cope with in terms of infections in the hospitals. My recommendations are based on what, what I would recommend for you as an individual. You know, unless you've had two doses of vaccine, you should play it cautious. And that would mean avoiding indoor settings where other people aren't masked. Some Canadian researchers are looking at Israel, where the World Health Organization reported no new cases over a 24-hour span this weekend. That country, with its aggressive vaccine campaign, has been reopening in phases from February 7th to June 1st, enough to hold its annual Pride Parade last week. Gregson says this gives hope for the future, but right now, Canada can't compare. Israel, um, I think about 59% of people have both doses. Uh, we are looking at just over 60% having one dose. He says our approach follows the UK, where the Delta variant now threatens to delay the lifting of restrictions. I think we can watch what's going on in the UK now and, and try and be cautious until we know for sure what, what's going to happen with this new variant. Stephanie Lasuk, City News.